All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D third person camera in GDevelop, and it shouldn't take too long. I've got a simple scene here with a player, but no camera. So the first thing we need to add is a behavior to the player. So we'll add a new behavior. And we will add the third person camera. So just search up third and it should come up, third person camera. And now we have that added. You can mess around with the stuff. Normally I'd set this to like 800 because 500 is really close. So for extensions, we'll need to add mouse pointer lock. So we'll do the mouse pointer is locked and then we'll invert the condition. And then if mouse button is down on the left, then we'll request the pointer to be locked. Now below this, we'll do if the pointer is locked. And then for the action, we want to change the camera rotation of the player. And we'll set this to 120 the star. mouse pointer and then it should come up with the movements we'll do the x for this first one and then slash scene window width and then we can copy and paste this and change this to movement y and change this to scene height. All right, now for the next one, we'll add a new event and just drag it under here. And we'll do locked pointers moving. Change the halfway time rotation, wherever that is. Halfway time rotation of the player we'll just set this to like really high and then add new event we don't need any condition in this we just need an action and we'll change the rotation i don't know what it is rotation This one. We'll set the angle. And we'll grab this one, camera Y rotation, and we'll set the angle to clamp. And then brackets. Up. Set clamp brackets and then whatever your character's called, mine's called player dot rotation Y and then more brackets and then comma negative let's do I think fifty five is good and fifty five on oh, the spell rotation. All right. Now we'll add new action. Insert your rotation Y. And we'll grab rotation on the Y axis for the player. And we'll do clamp and then brackets and inside those brackets you'll put whatever your player name is like if your player's like zombie or whatever mine's just called player so i'll put player dot rotation and then more brackets and then a comma let's do i got negative 55 and 55 for my game all right yeah we need 
player dot rotation y. All right, and then we'll add one more action, and this will be the elevation of the camera. So we'll select player, and then we'll set this to clamp brackets, and then inside whatever your player is called, mine's just player dot third person camera. Should just pop up here. And then the two colons, and then elevation, angle offset, with two more brackets, and then a comma, five, I think we'll do, I think that's what my game is, and then comma, 45. And before we preview, I just realized that these need to be changed to add and remove this one, or don't remove it, just copy this out of here and then delete it. And then we want to add another change the elevation, angle offset, and then just paste that into there and make sure these are both set to add. So now if we preview this, now we have a working 3D camera and you can't go too high and you can't go below. But another thing we can do is like the cameras, it's good, but it's a little jank. So we can add a new event and at the beginning of the scene. We can change the FOV and you can change this to whatever you want. I find 60 is pretty good. So we'll set that to 60 and now it's a way wider view. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions or videos you want me to make in the comments.